the word has been out, and everyone seems excited about Keaton and Tim Burton's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. From all accounts, the look and feel, it's less CGI, it's uh, back to the Tim Burton basics, and we're all hoping, we're all praying that this has some semblance of the original Beetlejuice. Uh, does it need to have been done? No, but it's here. That's Hollywood. It has been done. It's now set for a September 6th theatrical release. You have Winona Ryder returning. And then also, as Lydia Dietz's daughter, Jen Ortega. Now, I could, I think we could, we're safe to say collectively, we are all huge Michael Keaton fans. I am. And then here on the channel, you know we are massive Jen Ortega fans. So you have this great combination, right? This great equation, Burton. Winona Ryder, Michael Keaton, Jenna Ortega, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. This should, by all accounts, be a great hit. And uh, yeah, again, we're all hoping and praying because we know what Hollywood has been delivering with us, to us, for us, that we pay for and are consistently, what, disappointed. Uh, but let's, uh, let, let's clear that negativity right now. Let's breathe it in. And breathe it out because uh we have some fun news in this video we're going to go to some thoughts on what michael keaton thinks about jenna ortega it's a video exclusive from entertainment tonight i like what he says but before we get to that before we do that i have to have you do a couple of things for me there's a massive amounts of you guys that are not yet subscribed to this channel i don't believe it i don't believe it but it's in it's in the algorithms right there it's in the data you have to subscribe to the channel now, the second thing, you need to get right there, right there where it says thelatinoslant.com. It's our independent website, movie reviews, culture, music reviews, stuff you don't get on this channel. You have to be a part of that. Right now, you got to get over there and sign up to our free newsletter. It's free, free. And you're going to get, it's, it's, it's just growing that website. It's growing day by day. You have to be a part of it. Uh, you know, so, ah, más rápido, por favor. Uh, we're doing great things here on the channel and with our website. So I just want to give you that pitch. You have to do those two things. So now let's get to it. Let's get to it right now. Here is some video that uh, of Michael Keaton on the red carpet when he specifically asked about Jen Ortega. And you know what? I, 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 I'm loving this answer. So let's get right to it together what makes jenna ortega the perfect oh boy, offspring for lydia d she showed up and just okay so you you saw it right there right you saw his reaction oh boy she's good listen michael's a pretty stoic dude right he he's not he's not what you would call a hyper expressive uh like an al pacino or uh you know uh uh, you know, pick your, pick your, pick your, you know, your, your, your actor that's just kind of over the top all the time. This guy's very stoic, very chill. So he's like, oh boy, she's good. All right. All right. We're, we're, we're taking, we're taking your word for it, brother, man. We're taking your word for it. So let's, uh, let's see what else. He knew what the tone was and just slipped in. Like, he immediately knew what the tone was and just slipped in like she does that every day. Oh yeah. She's, she's really special. I okay. <clears throat> she immediately knew what the tone was. She slipped right into it. She's special. The tone, the Beetlejuice world, the Tim Burton world, the Michael Keaton, the Michael Keaton Beetlejuice. Winona Ryder, she knew the tone. And if you're watching, it, even if you're just paying attention to our videos and in our coverage of Jenna Ortega, you're seeing her step out of her comfort zone and doing these small independent dramas finest kind miller's girl to now the bigger ones this is going to be a huge film for jenna she's already done the screen movies she's she says yeah yeah basta con, con screen she did x she's got the horror down this is horror comedy drama she can do it all i really believe i really believe that one day she's going to be a oscar winning uh, award actress she's that good she's got it in her um here and we'll wrap it up right now I don't want to waste any more of your time. Don't forget one more. Don't forget to, uh, again, two things. Subscribe here to this channel and get to our dot com, the Latino and uh, subscribe to that newsletter. Let's hear from Jenna how she feels about Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice out September 6th. Uh, and then we'll wrap it up.
let's take it from there. Let's do that. And again, this is ET exclusive. You know, most of the time I don't care about these things, but I respect Keaton and I respect Ortega and I love what they had to say. It's really special. I felt so lucky to be there. It was, it was insane. I can't wait for people to see that one. I mean, that's just really it. That's just really it, guys, is you have your two leads excited about the work they've created for the audience, for us. How refreshing is that? Every actor should be talking, moving, and thinking like these actors. No agendas. You're on the red carpet. I don't want to hear it. I just want to hear about your work. What does it, what, what makes the, the Jen Ortega, Michael Keaton tick as actors? I don't need to know about your private life. I definitely don't need to know about your political social stances when I'm going to a film, when I'm, uh, you know, in, in taking my entertainment. Other areas of my life, maybe, maybe. But yeah, that's the news, guys. I want to know what you think right now. What are your thoughts? Michael Keaton, thumbs up on Jen Ortega. He's really excited. Like, again, I told you, he's seen, he's seen a cut of this movie already. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, in your theater September 6th. Wherever you're at, man, keep that slant. Fuerte. Paz.